So what's going on guys, DIY Dan, Saltwater Junkie here again, and in this video I replaced the last of my T5 light fixtures with some watch shine LED light fixtures, a total of three to be exact. I'm going to go over an initial review, now that does not include how to take it out of the box. Nothing pisses me off more than seeing people do a review and tell you how the packaging was when it got to your front door. Or apparently they assume that you don't know how to unpackage something or take it out of the box because they have to take the time to show you. So I just bought these lights, so obviously I'm not going to be able to give you a reliability review. But I will do a one-year update to let you know whether I've had any problems with these lights. And that is the same with any review I do on any product. What I am going to be able to show you in this video is your mounting options. My initial thoughts on the quality of the product itself and whether it has a clean look to it over the aquarium. I'm gonna show you the adjustability of the light itself as far as the light spectrum. Show you the temperature that these lights run at. Show you how quiet they are while they're running. I'm also gonna explain why I went with three small lights instead of one big light. And tell you what I like and dislike about these lights. Now this review is based solely on my opinion on my experiences that I have had in the past being in this hobby. So let's get to it. So the main reason I went away from the T5s was the maintenance aspect of the light. I would have to be doing bulbs and ballast on a pretty regular basis and trying to figure out whether it was the bulb or the ballast would get annoying. And obviously you do not have that with an LED. So that is the main reason why I switched out. Now, not to say those T5s weren't reliable because I've had them for probably seven or eight years and I bought them used. So they did serve me well. I was just ready to try something new, which leads me into the reason I bought three small lights instead of one big light. In my experience, everything has a lifespan. For example, because I know this has happened to everybody, let's say you went and bought a five pack of light bulbs for your house, got them all out of the same package, put them all in at the same time. One lasts eight months and one lasts five years. Well, I take that same concept into this aquarium light. Each one of these lights has 28 LEDs in it. So if I were to buy a full length light for that aquarium, for example, like this, I didn't even bother trying to count how many individual LED bulbs are in this light. Let's say I lost about a third of the lights only on one side. I would have to replace the entire six foot light fixture Whereas if I lose a handful of lights on one of these lights, I only have to replace that light fixture. So even though the initial cost might be a little bit more for three individual lights, I think in the long term, it could save me money. So the good thing about these lights now is, with the LEDs, which I don't know if it was that way in the past, is when you do have a light burn out, it does not take out the entire light fixture. It will just eliminate that one bulb as shown in this picture. So Watch Shine does say that you could set these lights on an aquarium lid. However, they recommend hanging it with this four cable and one center hook eyelet from the ceiling. So I'm in process of building a canopy for my aquarium and I didn't want an extra hook and cable hanging from the ceiling. So what I ended up doing is anchoring each cable with a screw inside my canopy and hanging it that way. So I pre-drilled all the holes so I wouldn't splinter out the wood and then went ahead and screwed each cable in. Before drilling into my canopy, I put all the cables on the light fixture and had one of my kids help me hold it up in position by the cables to make sure it was gonna be the proper height above the aquarium that I wanted. So here's a good look at how I anchored these light fixtures to my canopy. I also have this same style of light, just a little bigger on my 125 gallon reef and I had to anchor it basically the same way, so here's a quick view of that. This canopy was skinnier, so I had to double up and loop the cable around to the hook. So you are kind of limited as far as the mounting for these light fixtures. So one other thing that I was not too fond of with these lights that I didn't even think about when I ordered them is you are not able to daisy chain these lights together. So if you're not familiar with what a daisy chain is, this Will's light that I have over my reef, does have the daisy chain. You'll notice there's a power cord coming off the side and off the top of that Will's light. So the one on the side of this is the one powering the light 
And then the one coming off the top is a power to feed the next light. So instead of running three power cords up, you only have to run one and then plug the lights into each other as you go. It is a handy feature to have. So one other feature that this light does not have that you might want is the availability to program sunrise to sunset or to do a shimmer or storm effect. Now you do not have that ability on this light fixture. You do have to get a separate timer to control it. You can control the light spectrum, but it's basically controlled by these knobs on the top of the light. You basically set those knobs to what you want and that's what you get. As far as the initial quality guys, I actually thought the housing was metal, but it is actually plastic, but it feels pretty sturdy. And same goes for all three of the switches. The power switch and the two variable knobs did not feel flimsy. One small issue I did have with all three of these lights is the power cord going into the light fixture is a very tight fit, which led me to believe I had it plugged in all the way, but I didn't. And one of my lights was intermittently flickering. And I saw this complaint on the Amazon webpage under the comments. So once I figured it out, it wasn't a big deal. And it was a good thing because everybody likes a tight fit. So I bought these lights for my fish only tank. However, I did get a good enough light that if something changes or I have a light go out over my reef that I could switch it out real quick to keep me going while I was getting a new light. So here's the specification sheet showing the par value at the different heights in the water and how many of these lights they recommend for different size aquariums. Basically each light they say will handle two foot by two foot by two foot. Now this is their specification sheet off of the Amazon page that I bought the light on and I don't have the equipment to tell you whether these numbers are accurate or not. What I will say is that they're going to put the absolute best possibility as with any manufacturer. So their recommendation I would do at least that if not more as far as the amount of lights for example, my tank is a 210 and I put three of them on there. But if I was doing a reef tank in that 210, I would have bought four. So I've got all the lights hung over the aquarium now. I'm gonna let you listen to how loud these things are or actually what I should say is how quiet they are. I'm gonna give you a second to hear that. The other thing I wanted to show you guys real quick is how cool these things stay. So I do keep my house at about 75 degrees, uh, but these have been on for about an hour and they're all under 90 degrees. I don't think I ever tested how hot my T5s got. I know when I was using metal halides, those would get up to 150 degrees. And now I'm gonna show you the light spectrum you can get out of these lights. One knob is for the blue light and one knob is for the white light. I'm gonna do all of them with the white red and green lights, and then I'm gonna turn all those off and go all blue so you can see what that looks like. And then I'm gonna do some different color variations because I was playing around with it to try and figure out what I wanted to leave my final setting at. And I ended up going lighter in the middle and then a little bit bluer and darker on the outer edges. So hopefully this video helped you out and it gave you some good information. If so, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. My channel is loaded with all kinds of different DIYs, all with the same concept. Save you guys money by doing it yourselves without wasting your time. And keep in mind with my saltwater videos, guys, I don't post a video every month or every other week. I only post a video when something drastically happens or I update something or I'm doing an update on a previous video. I just don't want to waste your guys' time if there's really nothing going on. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Later.